Welcome to the story of how Coriander began. Many years ago, a woman named Michelle decided that she was not suited for life among only people. Hearing stories of places where animals walked and talked, wore clothes, and could converse with humans was what led her to the island of Coriander. Now this place was far away from where she was, and so she boarded a plane and headed there with hopes and dreams of what life would be like. Once aboard the plane, she met the pilot, which was a dodo bird, as well as her fellow islanders, Deirdre the deer and Louie the gorilla. Once at the island, she met Tom Nook, a raccoon, along with his two cohorts, Timmy and Tommy, who were also raccoons, who had initially prepped the island for the new islanders. Now, Michelle was not sure if she made the right decision, but she was going to give it a go. Many years later, her great niece, also named Michelle, came and visited and saw what a wonderful place Coriander had become, thanks to Michelle and the fellow villagers. She founded the very first museum of Coriander. She also brought the first tailor and also the first shop called Nook's Cranny. Now, young Michelle loved her great aunt, Michelle the Older, and she always loved coming to visit her on the island of Coriander. Of course, her friends never believed her when she told stories of this place. Sadly, these years later, Michelle's great aunt passed away. Michelle the Younger received a phone call from Tom Nook relaying the sad news that Michelle the Older had passed away in her sleep at the age of 97, though she didn't look a day over 30. Michelle the Younger was beside herself, knowing that she would never be able to see her beloved aunt again. A week later, she received some mail that told her that her aunt, Michelle the Older, had left her all of her belongings on Coriander. She quit her job as a chef at a restaurant and decided that she would follow her dream of becoming a farmer on Coriander. She boarded a boat captained by a tortoise named Captain and made her way to Coriander. And so she vowed, despite her bittersweet beginnings on Coriander, she would make her mark and she would make it her home. The End